Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Within Sage 50, you use the Purchase Orders window to order inventory items from your vendors. You can then receive these items as they are shipped to you by using the Purchases slash Receive Inventory window. Purchase orders can be edited by adding or removing line items and do not actually affect the amounts within the Accounts Payable account until you receive the items that were ordered. You can open this window by selecting Tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the Purchase Orders command. Within the Purchase Orders window, you start by selecting a vendor ID of the vendor for whom you are creating the purchase order from the dropdown. Now if you create purchase orders within an external application, then you can enter the purchase order number that was issued into the PO number box. If you plan on printing the purchase order within Sage 50, then leave this field blank as it will be assigned during the print routine. Next enter the date the purchase order was created and set the good through date as well. Your address information should appear within the ship to fields within the form. Now, if your billing address is different from your shipping address, you can enter the desired shipping address here. You may also notice a small checkbox for Close PO or Close Purchase Order, and note that you can check this box to manually close a purchase order that you have created if you later learn that you will not be receiving all of the items ordered. It will automatically check itself once all of the items within a purchase order have been received. Now below this area, you have the customer sales order number, customer invoice number, discount amount, terms, ship via, and accounts payable account field shown. Now after you've checked and verified or changed that information if needed, simply enter the goods and or services that you want to purchase into the line item area. Now if you're entering a PO for a vendor marked as a preferred vendor for a particular item, Note that you can use the autofill button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the window to automatically add line items to the displayed purchase order for any low stock items that you routinely order from the currently selected vendor. The received field that's shown within the form simply indicates how many of these items were shipped on previous bills. The item field shows the item ID of the items if used. The description column shows the description of the selected item. The general ledger account field shows the item's inventory account. And when ordering items that are not in inventory, it will default to the vendor's purchase account. This can be changed if needed. You also need to enter the unit price and amount for the items. You can view the vendor balance in the lower left corner. And clicking the right pointing arrow on the button here will show you a report on the selected vendor. Now, if you are going to print this, you can click the Print button in the toolbar at the top of the window, or you can simply save the form and then print them as a batch later on, just as you would with invoices. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.